Hey, good uh, afternoon, everybody. It's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. It's Monday. Something a little bit different. I missed the uh, Silky Smooth Sunday shave yesterday. So we're doing a midday Monday mail call and shave. That's right. It's going to be a mail call. Uh, received a fantastic package from Sweden. I do believe this is from Johan over at Shave and Butcher. Um, it says it's two soaps, um, but unless he switched things up on me, I have an idea what's in here and I'm pretty excited about it. It should be a pre-cut tape. Should be some Haga. So, beautifully wrapped. And yes, 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 Haga. But it looks like I've got the original classic green Hega, which is the one I've been wanting. He was kind enough to send it to me after I mentioned it in one of my videos that I would like to have a bottle. And sent me a bottle of the blue as well. Mati uh, Lindholm over at um, Mati Lindholm uh, sent me a bottle of this last year. It's fantastic. Now I have two bottles. Super excited. Can't get it here in the States, so... I won't run out anytime soon. Johan, thanks again, my friend. Mati, if you're watching this, I know you said Santa had a package in the mail for me. It still hasn't come yet. So, I don't know. But anyway, thanks again, Johan. That's fantastic. I'm going to uh, have a shave now. And I'll be using the Haga for the post. For the rest of the shave, we'll be using the Vanderboss Synthetic Brush. We'll be using the Magic Razor Shavette with a half nasset blade in there, second use. And then for the soap, going to be doing something a little bit different today. Um, I thought about doing the uh, Flash Boredom request and using doing an all head blade shave, but I decided against that. I wanted to get a nice uh, Shavette shave in. I've got about three or four days growth here. Actually, not even that much, honestly. I shaved Friday night. Had a date with the lady. Um, it was a good time. So... Uh, Hega, or not Hega, Head Slick. So I'm going to do half of the uh, challenge from, from um, Flash Boredom to use to do a head, a head, head Slick, Head Blade Shave. So we'll be, we'll be using the uh, Head Slick Soap and the Head Lube Post. I will be doing a complete face shave with a head blade. I'll be using the ATX for the head shave portion of the video. But we'll be doing a... Shave that shave for the rest of the video. All right, so, and I think uh, I've seen several guys use this before um, for face shaving. I've used it before for face shaving. I've never lathered it with a brush, but if I remember right, Jimco over at Jimco Shaves um, lathered it up with a brush not too terribly long ago. So we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. So... A bit of, uh, I don't know how much to use. That much in there. Yeah, I've, so I've used Head Blade in the past as my exclusive head shaving soap uh, years ago when I first started head blading. And really, you just kind of massage it in and go. I've never brush lathered it, so this will be new and different. But uh, like I said, if I remember correctly, Jimco did it not too terribly long ago and got a pretty good lather. And as you can see, it's lathering up pretty nicely. <clears throat> now, this is just a basic straight menthol soap. There's not much scent to it. If I remember right, it does have a nice menthol-y tingle. It's relatively slick. And it always did a great job shaving my head um, in the traditional use. And it is making a fantastic brushed lather. Woo. So yeah, it's just exploding everywhere. Seems like it's going to take a, a fair amount of water as well. So anyway, yeah, guys, hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Um, missed the Silky Smooth Sunday Shave. Yesterday was just not a very good day for me. Um, just a lot of stuff going on in the personal life. You know, last week I talked about uh, splitting from my church, and that became official last week. So yesterday was the first Sunday I did not attend, or the first Sunday I officially 
was no longer a member of the Open Door Baptist Church in Northwest Austin Leander Cedar Park. It's kind of sad, um, but uh, it is what it is. So, since I didn't have to wake up and get ready for church, I didn't do a Silky Smooth Sunday shave. So, therefore, we get the midday Monday mail call. I got the package from Johan. Came in on Saturday. I'm very excited about that. And there was no return address on the package, so it took me a few minutes to figure out who it was. I knew it was from one of my Swedish friends, and I had been expecting a package from Johan. And Mati had mentioned that Santa Claus may have put something in the mail for me, but it hadn't arrived yet, so I thought maybe it was from him. Santa, that is. But uh, upon further investigation, it was revealed to me that it was the Hega from Johan. All right, beautiful lather. Just because it's midday and I haven't sh I showered early this morning. Spent a little extra time working this in. Get the bristles soft. Yeah, all right. So yeah, so no church yesterday, so no Silky Smooth Sunday. And uh, that whole thing went down kind of awkwardly. I'm not going to get into too much detail about it, but that Sunday morning, last Sunday morning, when I had mentioned to you guys, I had been considering and praying about it. <coughs> Something came up, and I texted the pastor and told him I was not going to be able to be at services. And uh, he said, hey, well, you've been missing a little bit of church lately. Is everything okay? And I said, I'm not feeling great. I've got a personal issue I'm working through. And then he just flat out asked me, hey, are you leaving the church? And I told him, yeah, probably. I think so. And that was the end of it. I figured he might and contact me well because I offered to meet him um, before he asked me if I was leaving the church I said can we meet on Monday and then he came back and said hey are you leaving the church and I said yeah I think so and that was the last I heard from him until midweek and he sent me a text I guess it was like Wednesday evening he said, when do you want to meet? And I said, well, I'm free on Monday. Does that work for you? And he never answered me back. So, I uh, woke up the next morning and drafted an email to him. And the church treasurer, officially resigning my position and rescinding my well, my position as trustee. In rescinding my church membership. So, I'm officially a church running again. I'll probably start looking for churches, visiting churches and stuff. Uh, once I get moved, since I'll be in a new part of town, I'll visit some churches once I get settled in. Try and find a new place of worship. Thank everybody for uh, their comments and thoughts on me leaving the church. Um, Got some pretty good advice from a couple of viewers. So the input was appreciated. So yeah, I will say, definitely weird not having to get up and go to church on a Sunday morning. It's been quite a while.
since I haven't had a church, or since I've missed church, or since I haven't been a member of a church or a part of a church, because not all the churches I've gone to in the past have required membership. And, uh, you know, I miss church from time to time, being sick or whatever. So, not like I never miss, but it's, like I said, it's the first time in a while. that I don't have a church to call home. It's a little weird, a little sad. But it is what it is. What's not sad is the shave. The soap is... performing famously, as I knew it would. Got a very nice menthol tingle and a decent amount of slickness, not a ton of residual, but it's got some good cushion, some good slickness. Very nice soap for the first pass. I still can't believe that I continue to pick up that Persona Magic razor shavette. You guys who've been following me for a while know that was my first shavette. I cut the heck out of myself on more than one occasion learning how to use it. And I swore I'd never get rid of it or I'd never use it again. I have uh, chucked it in the trash and pulled it out on many occasions. And now, after all this time, I shave pretty decent with it. I get good shaves from it. So once again, it just proves that it was user error and inexperience and not equipment. Here's how the soap is holding up in the bowl as I continue to shave. It's not dissipating too terribly much, but it may not last until I get to the head shave portion. So, all right, second pass. What else can we talk about? So, new church hunt is on. The move is going to be official. Got all my paperwork. And lease stuff signed. I know I've mentioned all that before. So I will be ready to move at the end of February. So I have started the purge. clean process slowly but surely moving from room to room doing the first round of purging getting rid of stuff I know I haven't used in a while clothes that don't fit anymore all that kind of stuff I was even contemplating getting rid of some of my one million different methods to brew coffee. But luckily, my sweet, sweet lady talked some sense into me. She said, Why would you get rid of things that bring you joy? She said you should hold on to the things that make you happy. And I tried to argue with her, saying, if 
but I don't need so many coffee brewing methods. Especially when a lot of them are redundant. I have 12 milk pots. 12. Maybe not quite 12. One cup, a two cup, a four cup. No, I don't have a two cup. One cup, three cup, four cup, two six cups, a nine cup, and a 12 cup. So I have plenty of mocha pots, but you never know when you're going to entertain. And those of you who are experienced in brewing in a mocha pot know that you can't make less coffee in a larger mocha pot. And so you might need a larger mocha pot if you have more guests or need to brew more coffee. So anyway, luckily she talked me out of it. I have all my mocha pots are safe and sound in my cabinet. Um, so yeah, so she's got a good head on her shoulders and a pretty face too. So yeah, a great smile. Yeah, we had a little date on Friday night. Um, it's good. It was good. Um, you know, we don't get to hang out as much as I would enjoy, I think as both of us would enjoy, work and stuff get in the way sometimes. But we uh, got to spend some time together on Friday night. And it was another one of those really kind of simple, like chill at home dates, which is fine by me, because I got off of work and we got together. Ordered a pizza, watched a little TV, spent a little time together. It was good. It was a very nice evening. We were also supposed to get together and go to my sister's birthday dinner on Saturday. But lo and behold, she started having some car troubles and had to cancel. And of course, when I showed up at dinner without her, my family immediately began to roast me asking if there was trouble in paradise and blah 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 all that kind of stuff so i love my family but anyway so things are things are good there um good lady i am enjoying the time together for sure Just wish there was a little more of it, but hey, can't be greedy, right? And it makes you cherish the time you do have. Anyway, that's the uh, status on that whole situation, because I'm sure you guys were dying to know about my love life. But you know, that's what I do. I get on here and I talk. about the things and the stuff and the things whether you want to hear it or not it's what i do it is the update of carl's life i think i have youtube running in the background you may be able to hear johan i was watching one of his videos this cryogen head free shave when I decided it was time to have a shave. That way I don't have to mess with it a little tonight. The video will get up a little bit earlier. It'll be okay. Beautiful first, second, and third pass. Mm, maybe a little irritation. Uh, the question is, is, am I going to shave my head? I trimmed it out with the clippers the other day. This is actually about the length I like it. About... Well, this length, it looks looks kind of good, in my opinion. It's got that kind of Jason Statham scruffle. Also, the lady said she likes it about this long or a little bit longer. But, hey. It's my, bra it's my, it's my melon. I got to do what I want. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and have the shave. Yeah, I'm going to have the shave. It's fine. Yeah. Told you guys I was going to do the head shave, so I'm going to do the head shave. Besides, it'll grow back, right? 
I think I have just enough soap left in the bowl. Maybe not. Yeah, we're gonna knock out this head shave and then we'll get the Haga going. This actually may be a little long for this lather. This is a little bit long, so we're going to go old school. We're just going to put a dollop in the in the hand and rub it in like so. This is how I used to do it in the shower when I used to do my head shaving in the shower. That's probably way too much, but it's okay. That's a lot of scruffle. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, what else is there to say? There's not much else to say. It's been a pretty boring, relaxing day. The insomnia is kind of waxing and waning, good days and bad days. Um, I've had a couple of really good days in a row of sleep, as far as length of sleep, last night and the night before, and uh, midweek. They haven't been quality sleep. Um, tossing and turning quite a bit, you know, had some, some big decisions over the past week with the, the leaving of the church and some other personal things um, found out that my brother that lives in New York formerly Seattle his husband has been battling esophageal cancer it's his second bout and uh, he went into the hospital last week with shortness of breath got the results back the cancer has spread into a lot of places and it's in his lungs and it's and some other organs. So I found out yesterday that he went home on hospice care. Um, they still have a very positive outlook, but right now it's comfort and palliative care to see if he can maybe get some strength back and maybe continue chemo. But typically, um, my experience with hospice care is that that is end of life care. So. He may not have another round of chemo in him. So, sad news um, there. So, maybe having to take a trip up to New York. I know my older brother and his husband, well, they're both my older brother, but my brother who lives locally, him and his husband, Rick, are planning on trying to go up there sometime in February. And uh, I would like to go with them, but that's with the move and everything, probably not going to happen. So I'm hoping that maybe sometime in March I can get up there to see them. I haven't seen either one of them in a long time. This is, you know, you guys have heard me talk about my brother in New York or Seattle. He and I are not very close, but this past New Year's or Christmas, um, I'm kind of taking the first steps and to get some reconciliation and uh, unfortunately some bad circumstances may preclude or precede our joyous reunion but I would like to get up and see Mr. Tim before he passes away um, but I don't know if he's going to be up for visitors or what I'm trying to find out in the next couple weeks and plan accordingly pretty sad also found out yesterday that my old man's wife is in the hospital with pneumonia which is kind of pretty common for her but she's a pretty sick lady too I don't know how many more pneumonias she has left in her before she also succumbs to her long-term chronic illness and this video has taken a sad turn <laughs> sorry y'all 
But like I said, once again, I talk about what's going on in my life. And that's what's going on right now. Kind of stinks. Uh, illness and mortality, man, they're real things. Um, but on to pretty things. The shave is pretty. The head blade is working, as always. The head slick is a fantastic shaving cream. There's plenty of residual slickness left with that application, but I think that's just because there was so much soap. I don't know how many shaves I have on this blade, but it's probably getting pretty close to time to to change it out. Although it did take off that um, that scruffle pretty quick. That was, like I said, I had about three or four days of growth on it over the week, over the course of the week, because I haven't been doing a lot of shaves, just quick head shaves in the morning. And... Uh, Trimmed it with the clippers. Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Trimmed it with the clippers so that I could look nice for my dinner date. Which didn't happen, but that's okay. There will be other opportunities. We still got the Shen Yun coming up. They're really excited about that. I don't know if I talked to you guys since, but I bought a new suit for the occasion. Um, I'd been kicking around the idea of uh, getting a suit as a congratulations for my weight loss. This gave me the perfect opportunity and need for a new suit, so I uh, I went to the <clears throat> went to the suit store. I told you guys that I went to one suit store and they ignored me, so I went to another suit shop last Monday and uh, got outfitted with a nice new suit, beautiful charcoal gray suit. Lavender shirt, matching tie. I'm gonna. I'm excited. It's gonna look nice. The salesman was fantastic. If you're ever in the Austin area, you need a suit. Go see Ray over at Joseph A. Bank. I walked in the door. He greeted me immediately. I told him I am in need of a suit for a semi-formal occasion. <clears throat> Before I could make it. Five steps into the shop, he was measuring my neck and my chest and took me to the suit selection. He said, what color do you need? I said, well, my, my date is wearing a black dress. Can't wait to see her in it. Still surprised. I haven't seen a preview. Um, but I told him my date is wearing a black dress, uh, so probably gray or charcoal. So he, uh, he said, let's do charcoal. I said, sounds like a plan. Walked me over, picked out five suits. He took all the, uh, picked out a couple of different ones. Of course, I sent pictures to the lady to get her approval because I'm just a big dumb animal. I don't know anything about fashion. So, uh, she previewed the five suits and the ties and the shirts. And the first suit that Mr. Ray picked for me was the one that she enjoyed the best. It was also probably my top choice as well. So... Charcoal gray suit, lavender shirt, matching lavender tie with a small pattern. It's going to look good. Can't wait. Um, yeah, man. February 1st. Shun Yun Chinese Dance Opera. Two hours of good times. I still haven't quite decided what we're going to do as far as dinner or the rest of the date, but I've got a couple weeks to sort it out. Anyway, let's get to the post. Classic Haga. Gosh, this video is going on. I'm rambling a lot. Sorry, y'all. I like it. It's got a clean, beautiful scent. Oh, took a little irritation. It reminds me of some of the, like the drugstore scents that you can buy here in the States, like Barbasol, but not quite as harsh. It's got a nice, nicer sweeter, more mild scent to it. That's very good, very good, very good. And then we'll do a little head blade, head lube. This is just post lotion. And that doesn't smell good at all, but the Hager will. 
counteract it. Yeah, that just smells like lotion, like wax. Fantastic. That's it. That's all. That's the shave. Thank you guys and gals so much for spending a little time with me. Sorry I haven't been posting more regularly. I did check my YouTube AdSense. I'm at about $97. So the next time the money hits, I should get my $100 threshold. So that means contest is on the way. So keep your eyes out for that. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate you spending some time with me. No matter what you do, go spend some time with your friends and family because it's really important. I'll see you next time. God bless.